go, baby! Let's go! The day was February 5th, 2017. Houston, Texas, NRG Stadium, Super Bowl 51, Patriots vs. Falcons. This is the story. I woke up around 8 a.m. First thing I did was throw on my Patriots hoodie and Brady jersey, headed to breakfast, and started mentally preparing for the day. Playoff time in New England is the best. Everyone walks around stores and around town in Patriots gear, and you can tell that the attitude is different. Everyone knows. Everyone knows what's about to happen. Whether you're a sports fan or not, you know what the Patriots are, and you know Tom Brady is the best, and that the rest of the country hates us because of it. This was the eighth visit to the Super Bowl for the Patriots since I've been alive. We're so spoiled with Boston sports. We really are. We come to expect it. It's championship or bust every year. And it's different for us because you've seen every situation. You know what they're capable of. You know what they can do. You know that they're never truly out of it. But even I wasn't expecting this. Let me rewind to tailgating. Oh, it's a ramp. We're going to launch Tom Brady really? to the moon. There he goes. That's the touchdown. It was typical February weather. Low teens, ground covered in snow, football weather. In our element, no place I'd rather be. When we watch the past games, there's only three Patriots fans now. There's my girlfriend, Kayleen, Brody, and myself. Website. Why not do it yourself? Right Go to Wix.com to create your stunning website today. God, I can... That's Bob. He was a Pats fan two years ago. And now he roots for the Raiders. Put it down. I mean, this is pretty easy. Though. Josh. We're already up two games in He's a lifelong so. Broncos fan. I'm gonna watch this real quick. He sucks. All that. Ready? Ready? Oh, I can't wait now. And then there's Brody's dad, Kurt, a lifelong Chiefs fan. In his entire life, he's never seen one Super Bowl for the Chiefs. We've been fortunate enough to see eight trips in our lifetime. I guess the main message is to never take it for granted. We've been lucky enough to be blessed with the greatest quarterback and greatest coach of all time. And I've never taken any of it for granted. I've traveled around the country, lived in every major region. People know the Patriots. They know what Boston is about. They know how New Englanders are. It's amazing how much sports can affect the way an area is perceived. I feel like I probably shouldn't celebrate because it was almost too easy. <laughs> I don't know. It was a little weird. That's three and oh, three. <laughs> Kirk carried his bitch ass. That kid's garbage. He's wearing a Broncos jersey. Last year, last year. That's three. <laughs> well, I don't get your beard. Yo. I'm the fucking well, man. Who right. Patriots? Who cares about fucking porn? I'll sh it started off just like any Super Bowl does. You hope for a good close game, and things take a turn. And Matt Bosher gets Super Bowl 51 underway. Lewis will take it. Throughout the entire first half, I never lost faith. 
truly believe that they were still going to win. There was about a five minute period once they went down 28 to 3 that I thought maybe it might be too much. And then they went down and scored. And I knew that was it. Overtime came and there was never any doubt. Please go on. No. We got it. The Patriots have completed the greatest Super Bowl comeback in history. Overcame all the odds, proved everyone wrong, and won their fifth title. What a game. Fucking We are all Patriots. Come on, baby! And on this night, once again, Patriots were world champions. I can't think for ah!